Welcome to another episode of Fancy Tech. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to learn more about the top emerging technologies and innovations. Historians refer to the 70s era as the pivot of change in world history. Social progressive values that began in 1960s such as increasing political awareness and economic liberty of women continued to grow in the western world. In Asia, People's Republic of China was recognized by the United Nations and the economy of Japan also witnessed a large boom in this period, overtaking the economy of West Germany to become the second largest in the world. The economies of the developing world also continued to make steady progress during this period because of their third agricultural revolution. In today's video, we are going to discuss the tech scene of the 70s which continues to impact our lives to this day. First up is the invention of email. Electronic mail or email as we call it is one of the most commonly used medium for formal communication for the past two decades. By the end of 1960s, users could only send emails to users of the same computer, and the email system required the author and the recipient to both be online simultaneously. Ray Tomlinson is credited as the inventor of email. He developed the first system in 1971 that was able to send mail between users on different hosts across ARPANET, using the at sign to link the username with the destination server. Tomlinson's email messaging system was not given importance by his employers in the beginning and he secretly kept working on it because he considered it as he quotes, But um, it just seemed like an interesting thing to do with a computer and a network and so I just did it. When showing this system to a colleague, Tomlinson said, and I quote, Don't tell anybody, this isn't what we're supposed to be working on. Another interesting thing about emails is that emails sent in the early 1970s were similar to the basic emails that we send today with the contents being a header and a body. The Walkman Before MP3 players, iPods and CD players, Walkmans ruled the world of portable music devices. Cassette tape technology was developed in 1963 and by the late 1960s, pre-recorded cassette tapes were introduced that allowed the user to listen to music tapes on the car stereo. The first Walkman prototype was built from a modified Sony Pressman on request from the Sony's co-founder Masaru Ibuka who used to carry around a bulky tape recorder in his car to listen to music while traveling around for business. Further developing the prototype, the metal-cased blue and silver Walkman TPS-L2, which was the world's first low-cost portable stereo, went on sale in Japan in July 1979. It costed around $150 at the time and about $500 of today when adjusted for inflation. While Sony predicted the initial sales of the device would be around 5,000 units a month, more than 50,000 units of the Walkman TPS L2 were sold in the first two months, making it a huge success. The development of the first cassette based Walkman paved the way for development of a series of other products like CD and MP3 players under the same trade name. Home Video Game Consoles The Magnavox Odyssey is the first home game console that was developed in 1972 in the United States. It consisted of a white, black and brown box that were connected to a television set and had two rectangular controllers that were attached by wires. It was capable of displaying three square dots on the screen in monochrome black and white. The dots exhibited different behaviors depending on the game being played. The players had to place plastic overlays on the television screen to create visuals and control the dots according to the given game rules. 
Following its launch in 1972, the company sold almost 100,000 units to the gaming console by the end of the year and almost 350 units by the time it was discontinued in 1975. The Odyssey gaming console were sold for $100 a unit, which is equivalent to $620 today. The developers also made over $100 million in lawsuits because of having the pioneering patent of the video game art. The next revolutionary technology in the 1970s is the C programming language. C language is used for creating computer applications. It is used in writing embedded software, firmware for various electronics, industrial and communication products with the use of microcontrollers. It is also used in developing verification software, test code, and simulators. C was originally developed at Bell Labs by Dennis Ritchie between 1972 and 1973 for running utilities on Unix. C gained popularity in 1980s and was standardized by the American National Standards Institution and the International Organization for Standardization in 1989. Ever since, it has become one of the most widely used programming languages worldwide. The Mobile Phone The Dynatac 8000X was the first mobile phone invented by Motorola in 1973. The device was the result of a race between Motorola and Bell Laboratories, which was the company that first came up with the idea of the mobile phone in 1947. Now this phone was nothing like the phone you might have in your hands right now and was definitely clunky, but for the time it was impressive. The Motorola Dynatac 8000X weighed almost two and a half pounds and was a little over a foot in length. It retailed for $3,995, which roughly translates to about $10,300 today. And you can call up a friend and talk with them for 30 minutes. but. It would take 10 hours to recharge the phone again. Also, the first ever call made by the first ever mobile phone was reportedly to a wrong number. Intel 4004 In 1971, Intel released the first programmable microprocessor to the market, and it was dubbed the Intel 4004. Invented by Stanley Mazur, Federico Fagan, and Ted Hoff, it was the first programmable commercially available microprocessor. Their invention would go on to earn the National Medal of Technology and Innovation by US President Barack Obama. The first commercial sale of a fully operational 4004 microprocessor occurred in March 1971 to Bism Corp of Japan for its 141PF electronic calculator, for which it was originally designed and built as a custom chip. The commercial advertisement for the 4004 would read, Announcing a new era in integrated electronics, as it was the first monolithic processor, fully integrated in one small chip using the silicon gate technology. The infamous Rubik's Cube The 3D combination puzzle was invented by Hungarian professor Erno Rubik in 1974, hence the name Rubik's Cube. The puzzle was licensed by Rubik to be sold by Ideal Toy Corp in 1980 and it went on to win German Game of the Year and a special award for Best Puzzle in the same year. As of January 2009, 350 million cubes had been sold worldwide, making it the world's top selling puzzle game and the best selling toy. An internal pivot mechanism enables each face of the cube to turn independently, thus making up the colors. For the puzzle to be solved, each face must be returned to have only one color. In 2003, the first Rubik's Cube World Championship was organized in Toronto. The World Cube Association was started in 2004 that held competitions in more than 90 countries. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss more on the history of emerging technology.
Take care.